what's going on everybody it's your boy smitty here welcome back to the channel okay so we're still working on l to the w's 700 r4 right there well here i'll even take the plastic off probably should have anyway all right so everything's back together there um our in play just feels beautiful i mean it turns nice and easy so happy with that um what we got today is we have our 2.4 servo that we need to uh, get apart and uh, we need to take the pin out here and we need to measure to make sure that we got the right pin in there if not make adjustments so and then of course we'll go in there and we'll get our look out get our tool here and we'll get everything measured up um, remember if you if you like what you see there's a little like button down there it's got the thumbs up smash that dude for me um, there's also a subscribe button down there make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon right next to it. it's got a little deal that says all alerts turn that dude on and uh, comment and share it with your friends i would greatly appreciate it so uh with that being said i'm gonna get you put on a tripod here or something similar to that and uh we'll get going on this servo setup so yeah here we go all right, we're going to start by uh, taking this snap ring out here, E-clip, pulling our pin out. All right. Now we get our pin and grab our tool. This pin's going to go right here in this tool like so and then grab our retaining ring and we got to put it in the case so just slide this whole assembly in there put your snap ring in all right put a torque wrench in there And I do believe the torque spec is 90, like 94 inch pounds or something like that. So we've got our dial set to, we'll set it right about there. And then torque it till you get to zero. Right about there. And we are not in the line. You can see the line right here. It's kind of faint, but you can see it. So tor tor torque that dude, and it's not anywhere close. So that means our pin's too long. So we're going to have to trim that pin. And I kind of figured that because, I mean, we're using the wide band, and we've changed a lot of stuff, so... We'll pull this dude back out and I'll show you what we do with the pin. Okay, so looking at this pin, get the camera to focus here. There we go. It's got a little bit of wear on it up there at the top and some scrape marks. So I was like, you know, I still got this Sonics pin. It doesn't come in the kit, but. I think we're going to use this Sonics pen. It seems to be in a lot better shape. All right, so what we got to do is we got to take this tip off right here. So if you notice, if you put these two up side by side, you can see the factory one. 
make sure we're lined up here how much shorter the factory one is and it's still too long so you got to make sure to keep this this rounded tip on there because if not it'll it'll wear the band out so the way we're going to do that we're going to come right over here to the grinder Don't hate me for my workspace, y'all. This is all I got to work with, and I've got so much crap, I don't know what to do with it. I'm getting ready to do something about that, though. So anyway, usually helps if that's, things are plugged in for them to work. trying to figure out why that quit all right so basically we've got to keep this thing at an angle and kind of rotate it at the same time the best way to do that is to chuck this thing in a drill and just keep the thing rotating while you're while you're grinding put this dude back in the tool and see where we're at. Alright, so this is with the freshly ground pin. And we're going to torque this dude down. And see, this is the one I modified, and it's still, still not within range. You can see the line. So we need to grind some more on it. All right, got it ground. Let's put it in here again and we'll see where we're at. Getting closer. Come on, camera. Oh, good grief. Well, now it wants to be stubborn and not focus.
There it goes, finally. You can see the line right there. Uh, you're just going to have to trust me to say that it's not there yet. Alright y'all, so here we go. Now the camera's going to focus. And look at there, there's the line. And there's 90, 94 foot-pounds. So I'm where I need to be. As long as you see that line, that's good. So now we need to put the servo back together and then we'll put it in the case and air check it and make sure everything works. Alright, so since we get the the pin all set up, and we need to put everything back together. Put your pin back in there. Spring on top, washer, and then your E clip. like that and your fourth piston or your uh, second piston, I don't know why I said fourth that, that's your fourth piston that goes in there spring on there and you're ready to put this dude in the case There you go. Now come around here and right in there, right in here, you should be able to take and under the bottom of that band, you should be able to move that band. And it it moves. So you can also see the band apply right through this hole right here. I don't know if you can see it there, but anywho, check your air, take your air and go if you can get your nozzle in there, which I can't. Take my tip off here. Again, I don't know if you can see in there or not. You can see it in there. And your fourth is there. Everything looks good. So that's as simple as it gets, y'all, for doing the 2-4 the servo setup and measuring the pin. So he's good to go. Um, so now we'll just uh, we'll work on the rest of it. It's getting closer. Almost taste it. So, hey, if you guys liked what you've seen, if you might find this useful, make sure to hit that like button down there. It's the thumbs up one. 
um, smash that subscribe button if you would and uh, turn all the notification on that good jazz <clears throat> I really appreciate y'all subscribing to my channel I really do um, I can't thank y'all enough so leave me a comment let me know what you think um, until next time take care of yourself take care of each other god bless you and god bless america we'll see you next time bye bye